Hello everyone, you welcome back to my channel. I'm Remy Sinka. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful color. So let's get started. If you have not watched the first part of this tutorial, the link will be in the description box so that you can check so, it out. So for the neckline, you're going to be doing one at the back. So measure one inch downward and connect it to this three inches neck width. So the next thing, neckline, okay? So you're going to open it up this way. So this is the wrong side. This is also the wrong side. Place them on top of each other like this. Okay? Wrong side to wrong side. Wrong side to wrong side, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure the neck depth so i want the neck depth to be three and a half inches so from here i measure the three and a half inches this is three and a half okay so from this three and a half you connect it back to this neck that is coming this way can you see like this can you see so from here just square it this way square it this way Mm -hmm. Then from this neck width, pull it straight down to meet that point. Let's just meet that point like this. Can you see? So it's coming like this. Make sure you run it very well. If it means coming down a bit from the line, do that. Then I'll cut it off. So this is the neck line. Make sure before you cut it off, everything is well aligned. It is well aligned so that you don't spoil your fabric. Can you see? So this is how it is sending gum in between them so they are together so the next thing i'm going to do is just to match front and back together right side to right side and i'm going to join the shoulders together so i'm done so the next thing i'll do now is just for me to stitch them together this way so this one together like this You see, let me turn it to the wrong side so that you see it very well. You know, it's going to have zip. We'll use half to fix our zip because I added one inch for the zip allowance. So we are left with half because we have already turned this with our lining. Okay, so we are left with half for the zip allowance. You can just mark it with half. So make sure the same thing here. Okay, make sure the same thing here. So what you have to do is that you have to take measurement from here, from this point all around to the center of the v that you have here can you see you write it down then you take this one also you write it down so let's do that so for this side we have seven and a half seven point five for this side then for this other side let's make sure so for here we have exactly ten and a half 10.5 okay so we are going to be cutting the color separately okay so let's go and do that see 10.5 and here i got 7.5 right so we make a square so let's say this is my guideline then on this my guideline i'm going to measure that one side right we start let's start with the longest one the longest one is 10.5 so i'm going to add extra one to it and that will give me 11.5 so i added one inch allowance making 11.5 like this then i'm going to just roll it at this point i'm going to measure five inches like this can you see then here also you measure five inches five this is uh, five inches so here we also have that five inches but because this is the front we're going to be making it three inches longer make a point okay so you roll it once you have these three points point point one point two point three right so the next thing you do 
from here you measure measure five inches outside five inches so from these five inches you connect it this way from this your measurement connect it this way can you see so gradually with a curve or with a slant line depend on the style line you want you can either have it straight to this point like coming like it's coming like a curve and like this see your style line depends on your choice depends on how you want it can you see Once you, are, once you are done with your style line at this center back i'm going to come inside this bust with half inch come inside the half inch and just blend it to this point okay so this is one side that is that long the longest side so let's cut it out. Just like I said, your style line depends on your preference. So let me rule really straight. The again. second side. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure the length, which is 7.5. Then we're going to add extra one, making it to be 8.5. So you mark the 8.5. Mark the 8.5. The length is going to be 5 inches. This other side too will be 5 inches. 5 inches. Connect together. So the next thing you have to do from this side, I'm just going to come outside by two inches, just two inches, okay? And I'll connect it this way. Can you see two inches? You connect it like this. So the next thing from this point, you come inside this boss by half inch. And then from here, with a slight curve, connect it back to this point. Then I'm going to cut it. So this is the... side and the right hand side left this is right i'm going to use this to cut the main fabric and i'm going to cut two two of each and i'm going to fuse it with interfacing so i'm done cutting it out i'm going to cut my interfacing it's fused with interfacing so match them together on top of each other right side to right side and you take to your sewing machine from the center back you join round here and all the way to this point don't sew here because this place is your neck circumference okay so don't sew this particular the same thing goes to this one from here join all around and leave this place because this is your snake circumference when i sew for two most two inches i'll keep my needle in i'll create the button loop I'm just using this string for the body loop. You can use anything you prefer. So I'll open it up and I'll insert it inside it. Because it's going to have a button. Then I'll continue sewing. So I'm done. Can you see? So you notch it around.
on the other side there will be no loop on the other side so just stitch the gown together i've ironed you can see the loop that we have there so it's just gonna be like this like this so you're going to place it on this just the way this is for this side and this is for this side When you're done stitching the collar to the neck area, you're going to fix your zipper. Okay, so the next thing is just to use bias to pipe the neck line. So you're gonna use bias and finish it up nicely in the neckline. See where it is? Fit the collar down. Done putting the bias, so the next thing is just for you to flip the bias. When you are doing the second step now, make sure you flip your collar this way, then you to stitch the bias this way. Okay, to stitch the bias like this. You're to stitching the bias to the body of the dress while you flip the collar out of the way. So we are done. See it. Everything about this place is done. It is ready. Ready, ready, and ready. This way, let's be for today.